of these cooler nights have made it really nice here in Southern California. I agree. Yeah. It Warm has days, been. For yeah. like a week, cooler right? Nights. Yeah. Right. Love we it. need that cool off before the heat comes exactly. out. Exactly. Yeah. About to change. <laughs> yeah. Don't have the best of news. Unless you love the heat, then, you know, yeah. get excited because we are about to turn the heat way up. Ooh. Kind of, you know, just in time toward the end of summer, heading back to school. Nice timing for a heat wave. Um, but yeah, the beach going to be the place to be and the beaches are going to warm up to the mid 80s by the end of the weekend into next week. So it is about to get very hot and this extended heat wave could last through Labor Day. So the heat is going to be sticking around for some time. It was beautiful today. Temperatures were in the low 80s downtown. So we were a couple degrees below normal outside right now. It's cool. Temperatures in the 60s, 68 downtown. It's a 70 degrees in Van Nuys, upper 70s in San Bernardino, low 80s in Lancaster. Winds are onshore. This onshore wind going to help to bring back that marine layer as we head into the overnight hours. A little breezy into parts of Lancaster and Apple Valley. And as the sun went down tonight, those winds kind of picked up. Now, over the next couple of days, this onshore wind will trend more offshore, and that is going to help to turn up the heat around here. So, low pressure has been parked off the coast. That's going to drop off to the southeast. High pressure is going to start to build over the area, and that is going to bring us this extended heat wave that's really going to arrive by the weekend, stick around into next week, and as I was saying, could stick with us through Labor Day. We're, we'll be talking triple digit temperatures and elevated fire danger because of very dry conditions and very hot conditions. Taking you through Futurecast overnight tonight, much like overnight last night, the low cloud cover and fog moves in, but by tomorrow afternoon, sunshine on the way for everyone. Overnight temperatures tonight drop down into the 60s. Those winds are out of the southwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour. So visibility for the morning commute tomorrow dropping down to 1, 2 miles, 3 miles, not just along the coast, into the basin and into some of the valleys. By lunchtime, all that fog mixes out. High temperatures for your Thursday, mid 80s in Simi Valley, near 90 in parts of the San Fernando Valley. 86 for Pasadena tomorrow, 88 in Pomona. For the Inland Empire, temperatures checking in in the upper 80s and low 90s. Palm Springs gets up to 107 and mid 70s for Big Bear. So tomorrow temperature is going to be pretty much average where we should be for this time of year, but turning up the heat each day as we get closer to the weekend and next week. So for the beach communities, look at that mid 80s by the end of the weekend. LA and OC metro areas getting into the 90s by Sunday. Valleys triple digits arrive on Saturday. Same for those of you in the IE. High deserts getting up to 101 Friday, getting up to 106 by early next week. Even the mountains going to be in the low 80s. So a lot of sunshine, very warm temperatures. If you have plans this weekend, probably want to be in the pool at the beach. Back to you guys.